In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use cooking gadgets for something other than cooking. If you wanna learn how to make this, well, then follow me. What's up, Glue Dots? I'm Elaine, the Midnight Crafter, and the project I have for you today is one that's been in my head for a really long time, came out nothing like what it was in my brain originally, but I still think it turned out really cool, and I hope you like it too. I love using kitchen gadgets for my projects because I think it kind of adds a different dimension just to how we see things, and I, and I find that fascinating. So, I hope you love it. But first, join the Glue Dot family by hitting that subscribe button down below. And when you click on the bell next to it, it'll inform you every time I upload a new video. Also, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you all. Also, before we get to the project, make sure you go down in that description area below and look because there's a lot of important information down there, including for my upcoming giveaway. So now I think what we just need to do is get to this project. So let's do it. Guess what we're gonna do first? Well, if you guess that we're gonna paint first, you are right, because I always like to do anything that needs painting to do that first so it can dry while we work on the rest of our project. So I'm gonna be spraying this candle holder with uh, black. Uh, this is the Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer. Uh, you can probably use just about anything, but this is what I had on hand. So I'll be back as soon as I spray this so I can show you the next step. Okay, so what we're gonna do to start is we are totally going to dismantle one of our whisks. And how you're gonna do that is use your pliers and twist this little bottom part until you pull it off. And then you're gonna have to twist this top part as well and pull that off. Save these pieces because, see this is how you become a craft hoarder. <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, this is a great little tube and I'm sure we can use that for something and goodness knows there's something we can use this little thing for. Don't know what, but at some point, someday, you may see me using those for something. No promises, no guarantees. Anyway, so we have our one piece here taken apart and what we're gonna be doing is bending down these as all the way down to the bottom as you can and opening them up sort of in a flower shape. Now, if they're not gonna, you're gonna have to kind of finagle them around because they're not all in the perfect spot to make a lovely flower for us, but we will make it work because that's what we do. Okay, we've got my flower shape and then the next thing we're gonna be doing is taking our other whisk. We're probably going to need three whisks in total and this one you don't have to take apart but what we're going to be doing is cutting off the wire part. So just go around and cut each one of those. That's why you're going to need your wire cutters guys. And now that you have all your pieces cut off, they're gonna cut just like this. You want to bend them so that they will stay a little closer to that same shape as the other ones and do that to all of them and then we'll be on to the next step. Okay so all my little pieces are bent. I have my flower so this is one whisk and this is two whisks that are cut down so a total of three and I have my mirror which is really really dirty and I'll clean that after. But um, you wanna take off all the stickers and stuff on the back. And just a quick tip, if you heat this up really nice and hot with a hot blow dryer, or if you have an embossing gun, one of those heat guns, those are the bomb diggity. They will heat this up really nice and, nice and hot, hot, and you can just peel those stickers off like butter. So I recommend if you don't have a, one of those heat tools, just use a hot blow dryer and really heat that up to pull the stickers off. So we're on the back side, obviously, of our mirror. And what we're gonna be doing is gluing down 
our first uh, flower piece, which is the whisk that's still attached. So we're gonna use a combination of our, I'm using the Gorilla Clear Grip, but if you have E6000 or the Dollar Tree adhesive, any of those is great. I'm gonna also use a little bit of my hot glue just so that it kind of quickly sets on there so we can continue working on our project. So center it and press it down. And we're gonna be adding in more petals to at different lengths in there. So you can add them in kind of wherever you want if you want them in between or however you wanna add them in. But we'll be adding, probably initially I'll, I'll add them in between and we'll go from there. So those I'm gonna be, again, also E6000 and hot glue to attach those. So when you're using your E6000 and your hot glue, just know that the hot glue will not be able to stick if you put it on top of your E6000 or your adhesive. So put your adhesive more on the tips and then your hot glue is gonna have to go kind of behind that. And you wanna put your hot glue behind where you would put your um, E6000 because if it's trying to go on top of something wet, it will not stick. So the E6000's there, the hot glue's there. Okay, so I went around and I filled in the spaces in between. Now, if you'd like to, you can go in still even more with our other pieces, which I'm going to do, and randomly place them underneath as well, kind of just more at the edge so they stick out even further than the other ones did. So go around and randomly put those pieces in. So once you have all your pieces in place, you're gonna to wanna to go through um, the glue, the hot glue is very, very temporary, not very strong hold. So you're gonna to wanna to go through with your E6000 or whatever other adhesive and go over all of the ends now that they're sort of in place and be generous with it. And we're gonna be letting this dry overnight. And those of you that know impatient me, I actually am going to let it dry overnight because this is not one you can rush, otherwise the entire thing will just fall apart. And then, what a waste. So I'm putting around, getting everything really secured, and then the project is gonna go night night. Okay, I actually made it waiting overnight. <laughs> So what we're gonna work on now is kind of the finishing touches with this. We're gonna carefully bend back some of what I call the petals, but you wanna kinda hold them and bend them carefully because we don't wanna pull up away our glue. So whichever one you're working on, kind of hold it in place and give it a little bit of a bend so that we have some dimension here to our design to our centerpiece, whatever you want to call this, whatever you want to use it for. Maybe it'll be a serving tray of some sort or a serving little plate. So get your petals bent a little bit and you can bend them more later once we get this flipped over. But for now, kind of play with them a little bit and get them where you want them. Okay, so you can see I have mine kind of bent downwards, some bent down more than others. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting our glue and attaching this piece into here. So we're gonna be using a combination of our E6000 or like adhesive, and then also our hot glue. I'm gonna do the E6000, well, the adhesive, because <laughs> uh, it's, it's just a habit to say E6000. Okay, so we're gonna be putting our adhesive kind of in and around this center, at the, the base part. And then the hot glue is gonna go around the kind of upper part here, just to give it more immediate hold while the E6000 does its job. Then you're gonna flip your flower over and place it directly in there and make sure it's level. So you're gonna have to hold on to it while that hot glue does its job. The final steps of what we're gonna be adding on is we have our little uh, gemstones here and we're gonna be gluing one on each of the tips 
If you want to glue more, knock yourself out. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to put one on each tip just to add a little bit of that sparkle to it, but without it being really overdone. So I'm going to continue on all the way around just like that. And then I'm going to show you our finished project. Here, you're going to want to use your E6000 to glue on your little gemstones because the hot glue uh, does not hold them on very well. So quick little something, when I flip this upside down, out of curiosity, I put my level on here and I wanted to see if it was level. So because of some of the wire pieces pushing a little more than others, it was creating this to be slightly off. So what I've done is went ahead again and added my E6000 in certain areas and a big glob of hot glue, which I'm holding in place to make sure that this is kind of level for when we flip it over so we don't have a lopsided candle or tray or whatever we're putting on here. So just a little pointer that's something you might want to look into and do. Oh. 